When I visited the Alzheimer's Association of Northeastern New York and met with Executive Director Beth Bovin, I knew I'd leave with an education on Alzheimer's disease and a better understanding of what a patient goes through. What I didn't know was that I would be moved by those who care for the people with Alzheimer's disease and have an inside look at their journey. It's been very difficult, um, not only with my mother, but also I've had a lot of problems with my, my brother and my three sisters who have been very unaccepting of my mother's illness. Swire, who keeps a teddy bear by her mother's photo, she says, as a symbol of comfort, now works at the Alzheimer's Association, but she was a user of their services early on. I am truly a person who can say, you know, you know, absolutely truthfully that what a wonderful organization this is. So many families, so many primary caregivers think that they have to endure this weight on their own, but you do not. Swire is not the only one who found comfort among the staff at the Alzheimer's Association. I also met 18-year-old Leah O'Donnell, who lost her grandfather to Alzheimer's only one year ago, and whom she cared for at the very same time she cared for her grandmother, who was suffering from brain cancer. O'Donnell tells me that her heart also drew her to the organization, but it's the spirit of her grandparents that keeps her going. I had met some of the people at the association before, and I decided that I was going to transfer home for my second semester, and so I reached out to the Alzheimer's Association and tried to see if they would take me back, <laughs> um, and they took me back with open arms. As a primary caregiver of someone with Alzheimer's, O'Donnell learned to reflect on the good memories, even as her grandfather slowly lost his. Grampy's standing there, and he's like, what's up, squirt? And I forgot that he used to call me that. When you get that moment of clarity, you just really need to embrace it and enjoy it because you don't know how long it's going to be there for. But according to Bovin, there is hope for a better tomorrow for all those suffering from Alzheimer's. Because of the work of so many volunteers throughout the Alzheimer's Association community, um, people have caught on. People are recognizing this as an epidemic and they are moving to act on behalf of people with Alzheimer's disease. In the meantime, the Alzheimer's community continues their fight, taking their wins and baby steps and inspiring others along the way. My grandparents had never gotten sick. Um, this is why I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. I never would be where I am today. If you'd like to find out how you can help or for more information, go to ALZ.org. For Look TV, I'm Tracy Villamay.